Okay, hello and welcome to Libra Online and welcome to part two. We've got a counter circuit. I've got this schematic off the internet that if it works I will modify it and use it to put meters and that on the output. However, this is its first power up, so if there's going to be an explosion, we pick it up. Hang on a minute, I want to use that, don't I? Hang on. Just put the camera there so you can see what's going on. Get some mapping stuff that I got on the net. And do 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 work out what's the positive and negative of that. Thank you, Tesco's, for marking it. That's positive and that negative. Do 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 do. Check it again because I have a terrible memory. Okay. And we knock it to 15 volts. Power on. You hear that? Infrequent popping. This is very temperamental. Why is the voltage going to the tube? Let's grab some rocks from the dining room. Granite, because I know granite has some radioactivity to it. No, it's not worth it. We get infrequent pulse, which is a good sign, but the trouble is... Is that... I think the tube is getting too easily saturated. Hang on. Listen to that. That's quite frequent. Pull this away. So frequent is it? Mm-hmm. Not so frequent. It seems to be working, but I may need a 10 mega ohm resistor. What about if we put this in series? Ideally, we want to use one of these. I 
I think what we're lacking here is enough resistance because the tube seems to be too easily oversaturated when you're on the voltage. Success limited. Voltage is about three hundred thingy volts. Many more pops, are we? Hmm, interesting. We're not getting much movement over the meter either. Not much at all. Not much at all, is there? That's more frequent with that particular rock. That one. Seems to be picking up background. I'd say we've got it working and it's picking up background, but there is a lot of work that we really need doing on it. It's not exactly brilliant. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm going to continue experimenting. I'm definitely going to have to edit some of the other stuff out, but watch this. Come on, click. You should be able to see the needle moves with it. Apparently phosphorus has some radioactivity. I do get some activity with fluorescent light, but honestly it's amazing. Take it off. I need something stronger. Hmm. But what? Anyway, that's enough. For now we're making success. I think I need high value resistors because then I can get better sensitivity out of it. So far so good. I wonder, hang on, let's knock up the voltage. goes we're hitting the more saturation point it looks like it's a delicate balance see you in a bit okay this is the Geiger counter progress oh. 
I'm going to turn the voltage up too high, oversaturate it. Or does something like that. But it's getting, it's causing to get it to respond to anything. Apparently, phosphorus is radioactive, but it's not reacting to the phosphorus on the fluorescent light very much. It's the only thing it does seem to react to. So, if anyone's got any design advice or any kind of advice to help me, I would be most grateful. I've got me to link to as well as a computer speaker. But it does seem to yield better results than the camera flash unit. Maybe it's just I don't have strong enough sources. Mm, I'll have to try the fertilizer again. Anyway, that's all for part two. See you in part three, where I hope to have this thing built, more or less. But you never know, anything can happen. Well, to finish up the day of the Geiger counter, lab coat's on the door, and the dog's sleeping with me, just like he has every other day this week. Thanks for watching. Part 3 should be it more getting complete. Hopefully some people have some good advice though. I need it.